Top 10 Facts About the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, Africa's Largest Hydroelectric Project. Welcome back to Africa Flashes. Today's video reveals the most fascinating facts about the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD. From its colossal energy capacity to its role in regional politics, we've got all the details on Africa's largest hydroelectric project. Stay tuned to learn more about this engineering marvel and its impact on Ethiopia and its neighbors. Welcome back to Africa Flashes. Today we're diving into a monumental project that has captured the attention of the entire continent and beyond the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD. Situated in the Benishangul Gumuz region of Ethiopia, near the border with Sudan, the GERD is a beacon of progress, ambition, and controversy. The primary purpose of the GERD is to generate hydroelectric power, a critical step in supporting Ethiopia's burgeoning energy needs and propelling its economic development. Once completed, this massive dam is expected to produce around 6,450 megawatts of electricity, making it the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa. This capacity promises to provide a significant boost to Ethiopia's power supply, benefiting both urban centers and remote rural areas. Construction of the GERD began in April 2011 Despite numerous delays and controversies, the project has created thousands of jobs, both during the construction phase and in its future operations. Beyond boosting local employment, the dam has the potential to export electricity to neighboring countries, enhancing regional economic ties and cooperation. Another crucial aspect of the GERD is its role in flood control. By regulating the flow of the Nile River, the dam can potentially reduce the impact of flooding downstream. Additionally, its capacity to store large volumes of water will contribute to water conservation, providing a critical resource during periods of drought. However, the GERD is not without its challenges and criticisms. The dam has been a source of regional tension between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt, with concerns centered around water rights and management. These tensions have necessitated ongoing diplomatic efforts and negotiations, mediated by international bodies, such as the African Union and the United Nations, to reach a consensus on the dam's operation and water allocation. The construction of the dam has also displaced local communities, raising concerns about social and cultural disruption. Despite these challenges, public opinion in Ethiopia remains largely positive. The GERD is seen as a symbol of national pride progress, and self-reliance. From an engineering perspective, the GERD is a marvel involving advanced construction techniques and cutting-edge technology. The dam will create a reservoir with a staggering 74 billion cubic meters of water capacity, underscoring its engineering prowess. Yet this also brings potential environmental concerns, such as the impact on the Nile's ecosystem, including fish populations and sediment flow. International disputes have been prominent, with Egypt and Sudan expressing concerns over water security. These countries have called for legally binding agreements on the dam's operation to ensure fair water distribution. Despite these disputes, the GERD is expected to play a pivotal role in Ethiopia's long-term development strategy, supporting sustainable growth and development. In conclusion, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a testament to Ethiopia's aspirations for sustainable development and regional leadership. While it presents significant challenges and has sparked considerable debate, the potential benefits of the GERD for Ethiopia and its neighbors are immense. As negotiations and developments continue, the GERD remains a critical focal point in the discourse on regional cooperation and sustainable development in Africa. Stay tuned to Africa Flashes for more updates and in-depth analyses on this and other significant projects shaping the continent's future. 